Hi guys! So it is that time of year again. It is time for the most rated event that everyone is always obsessed with, including myself, and it is the 2012 Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. And I always look forward to seeing the makeup and the outfits, and I love seeing the hair. So I knew I had to do the 2012 makeup look for you guys, and this is my take on it. Um, all the girls are always really fresh looking and just very like glowy skin so that's what I wanted to achieve I just wanted it to look really like healthy and pretty and feminine and I think that's what I got going on here and I really like it a lot I actually used for my eyes this multi-purpose product and this is the Physicians Formula Waikiki Strip this is what I used on my eyes along with one Victoria's Secret eyeshadow and you guys will see more of that once you get into the actual tutorial. So as you can see, I don't have my hair in the signature VS curls. Um, I just have a blown out straight and I like the way it came out today, so I left it like this. But I do have a Victoria's Secret um, fashion show curl tutorial, which I will link down below. Or I'll put it like over here or here or somewhere in this video. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I had fun doing this look and I hope you guys like this. And let me know if you like it. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, it means so, so much to me when you guys subscribe. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy this, and stay tuned if you want to get this Victoria's Secret 2012 fashion show inspired look. I will talk to you guys later. Bye! As always, my first step is going to be to prime my eyes with my Urban Decay Primer Potion and put it on there, and then I'm just going to take my finger and smooth it over my lids, and this is going to help my eyeshadow from creasing. Okay, moving on to the eyeshadow, I'm using my Waikiki Strip by Physicians Formula, that is hard to say, and I'm just taking the lightest color and putting it all over my lid, and that is the first step in getting the look. Then I'm going to be taking the color all the way at the bottom of the Waikiki strip and a fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to be working that in my crease back and forth basically for a long time. So I'm just going back and forth, back and, forth, back and forth, working the color in there in windshield wiper motions. To create more of a V on the outer corner, I'm going to be using a pointed brush and this Victoria's Secret eyeshadow. I'm going to put the name of everything down below. Um, but yeah, I'm just taking that pointed brush and that Victoria's Secret eyeshadow, which is like a brownish, topish color, and I'm just going to be making a V, literally making a shape of a V, only like sideways, as you can see that I'm doing, and just putting that in my outer corner and just making kind of a pointed elongate elongated shape because that was the look that the Victoria's Secret Angels had this year. It was more of a cat eye shape so I'm just creating that and making it look nice and elongated because that is what the makeup artist said that he did with their eyes so I'm doing the same. Then I'm going back to that color we used for our lid and I'm taking a blending brush, a big fluffy one by Sonia Kashuk and I am just going to be putting that on my brow bone and just blending everything in making sure that there's no harsh lines or anything like that. Then I'm going back in my outer corner with that same pencil brush and I'm just fixing it up making sure it still looks nice and elongated and like a cat eye. For more of a smoky-ish looking eye, I'm taking a black pencil, and this is Zero by Urban Decay. And I'm just making a cat eye shape with my eyeliner, so it kind of goes along with the eyeshadow that we just put on. And I am just making a cat eye shape there, as you can see, and just filling it in and going in short strokes. To make your lashes look fuller, do not forget to do this step, uh, tight line your eyes. It's just that upper waterline right there and I'm using the black pencil and it just fills in all the gaps that you may have missed with your liner. 
Okay, so there you can see I am taking a white pencil, and this one's not that good. I don't recommend it. Um, but the Victoria's Secret Angels always use this, and I am going to be putting it on my waterline, as well as my inner corner for that bright, wide-eyed effect that the angels always have. And then I'm just taking Vanilla by MAC. It's a pigment, and I'm just putting that over the white pencil so it looks nice and bright in that inner corner. Then I am curling my lashes. Use your curler of choice. And I'm going to be taking my mascara, and this is Telescopic by L'Oreal. And I'm just going to be putting on two coats of that and just making my lashes look nice and separated and long and very doll-like. Moving on to face, I already have foundation on in this video, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and use my under eye concealer by Maybelline, the Age Rewind, and a concealer brush, and I'm just going to be blending this into my skin so I don't have any dark under eyes, and so it looks nice and bright. Then I'm taking my concealer because angels do not have acne, um, and I'm just going to be going over any spots, um, any dark spots or any red spots that my foundation did not cover, and I'm just using a little concealer brush for that. The angels had a peachy color on this year, so I'm just taking this Tarte Blush Stain, I believe it's called, and this is a peachy color, and I'm just taking a brush by Sonia Kashuk, it's a flat top synthetic brush, and I'm putting it on my cheeks, and then I'm just going to be blending it in with a brush, and I like that this is a cream, because it gives your face more of an awake look, and more fresh than a powder blush. So I'm just blending that in, blend, blend, blend with your brush, and it's a really, really pretty color, and it smells awesome. And of course, this is a given. We have to use highlighter for a Victoria's Secret Angel look. I'm using my Revlon highlighter, and it is a liquid highlighter, so it gives you even more of that glowy look. And I'm just damming it on and doing a uh, C shape all the way up to my eyebrow, and then a backward C shape on the other side, and just blend that in. Then I'm going to be going over that with a powder highlighter, and this one's by Wet n Wild. And I'm just going to be taking a pointed brush for that and just going over the Revlon highlighter for an even more luminous and Victoria's Secret-like glow. I don't think they make this brand anymore, but I'm just taking a bronzer, and this is by Caboodle. And I'm just putting this all over my face, so under my cheekbones, my neck, my nose, and my forehead, just to give the face a little bit more life and color. And then I'm just blending it in. Okay, lips. I am always put chapstick on before I put lipstick on, and I'm just taking a nude eyeliner, eyeliner, lip liner, hello, sorry guys, and I'm just filling in my lips with that because it just defines the lip, and then I am taking this Wet n Wild lipstick, and this is a pink color, and we want our lips to look pink and fresh and very awake and just like very girly looking, not too nude. The lips this year weren't that nude. And then I'm just taking this lipstick or lip glass by MAC and like I said I'll put everything down below, all the products that I use and the names, and I'm just putting that over. And then I'm ever so lightly filling in my eyebrows, I don't want them to look too harsh but I do have some sparseness in some areas, so I'm just taking my brow pencil and filling them in. Okay guys, that is the completed Victoria's Secret 2012 Fashion Show makeup look. I hope you enjoyed this and let me know if you try this out, let me know if you like it, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!